on. It's Prime with Iron Octopus Fitness, and today is day five of Skatemus, the 12 days of Skatemus. Today is single footed plow stop or the single leg plow stop, and this is actually something that there's a ton of videos out there about it, and it's kind of been done to death, but I'm gonna do it too, so let's just keep beating that dead horse. Before we get started in like the actual practical single footed plow stop, so what it looks like and how you do it on skates, I wanted to go through something conceptually. I'm going to use a concept that I want you to keep in mind for when we go down into my murder basement and get our skates on for the single footed plow stop because I'm going to refer to it while we're down there working on it. I am going to imagine that the floor is a piece of paper. So here's a piece of paper. We're gonna pretend like this is the floor. Got some nutrition calculations on it, doesn't matter. Anytime that I'm gonna be doing a single footed plow stop, I really am gonna be using two feet, but I'm only gonna be using one foot to stop. My other foot is gonna be doing something different. This is the floor. What I'm gonna do is take my first foot and I'm gonna pin the floor really hard, as hard as I can, holding the floor in place. And what's gonna be happening with this second foot is it's actually gonna be ripping the floor apart. So I'm pinning the floor with one foot and I'm gonna be ripping the floor apart with the other foot. And the harder that I pull as I rip it, the faster that I'm gonna be able to stop. That I ripped this paper from the bottom, not from the top. So that's what you wanna think about as you're ripping apart the floor in your single footed plow stop, is that you're gonna be ripping kind of from your heel forward, all right? So let's take this down into the murder basement and see what it looks like in actual time. So in practice, this is what the single footed plow stop looks like. So as I come forward, it's really important that I pin myself to the ground with this leg. So all of my weight is in this leg. My knee is stacked over my ankle and over my skate laces. It has to stay this way. This is how it's going to pin the floor in place so that I can rip it apart with my other foot. So if you really struggle with single footed glides, or when you glide your knee drifts in like that, then that's where you need to start. You need to really be able to pin that floor into place before you can nail this single footed plow stop. The second part of this is, once you've pinned it into place, you're gonna rip from the bottom up. Movement that happens with this single footed plow stop is initiated from my heel. And I'm gonna rip up with my heel and then dig the rest of my wheels in as my wheel starts to rip, as my heel starts to rip the floor apart. You're pinning here, pinning, 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 pinning it hard, and then rip as fast and as hard as you can. All right, that was day five of Skate Miss, and I will see you guys tomorrow. See you then.